Welcome to this short video that outlines the benefits of the Ventec load management system used in a variety of diesel generators. In this demonstration, we have the Ventec thermal load management system installed on a 45 kilowatt generator powered by the Isuzu 4 Ali 2X T4 final engine. We have a PC plugged into our equipment for diagnostic and configuration purposes. We're also measuring the exhaust gas temperature and we have a load bank uh, plugged in so that we can demonstrate the effects of adding and removing electrical load to the generator. The heart of the thermal load management system is the Ventec liquid heat generator model 700. This compact heat and load generator is belt driven and controlled by an onboard digital controller for aftermarket installations and can be controlled directly by the generator controller for OE factory installations. Inside the LHG, engine coolant travels between a miniature rotor and stator, creating hydraulic friction much like a miniature dynamometer. The LHG applies a control amount of mechanical load to the engine. The LHG converts the load into coolant heat that is then returned to the engine. The LHG load elevates exhaust gas temperature and ensures that the engine is operating at full engine temperature. Ventec can provide a variety of kits for many different diesel engine applications. In our kit, we include the liquid heat generator, mounting brackets, hoses, belts, drive pullers, electrical harnesses, and a digital control system. The Ventec thermal load management system takes approximately two hours to install. As we begin the test, the LHG is not operating. The engine is running at idle and there is no electrical load on the generator. You can see on the LCD display that the exhaust gas temperature has stabilized at around about 327 degrees Fahrenheit. On the PC, there is a status bar on the top left hand side. The least most significant digit indicates that the LHG is engaged. There's a counter on the bottom row counting down four, three, two, one. The LHG is now engaged. The LHG is applying about 10 kilowatts of load to the engine, and this is causing the exhaust gas temperature to rapidly rise to about 495 degrees Fahrenheit. All the energy that is being converted by the LHG is being directed as heat in the coolant and being steered back into the engine. On the second row of the PC display on the right-hand side, you can see a parameter called LHGT. This is actually engine coolant temperature in degrees Celsius. It's stabilizing at about 85 degrees because the thermostat is opening, causing the coolant temperature to flatline at full operating temperature. In a few moments, we will apply 10 kilowatts of electrical load using the load bank. The load will be displayed on the screen where it says Gen Load in KVA. Instantaneously that the load bank is turned on, the LHG will automatically disconnect. The LHG control system has current measurement transformers which are calculating the electrical load on the generator, causing the LHG to respond accordingly whenever there is load, electrical load applied. Ten kilowatts of resistive load is applied to the generator. Note that when the load bank is turned on to ten kilowatts, the digit in the status bar goes to zero, indicating that the load management system has been deactivated. You can also see in the generator load field on the PC, it is now showing 10.4 kVA. Also note that the exhaust gas temperature has not changed. This indicates that the load applied by the load management system is basically the same as the load applied by 10 kilowatts uh, from the load bank. Mm -hmm. 
We will now turn off the load bank, reducing the electrical load to zero, and the thermal load management system will immediately react by reactivating the LHG. While the load bank was applying 10 kilowatts, the exhaust gas temperature was sitting at about 490 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that now we have removed the load bank current and the LHG has been re-engaged, the exhaust gas temperature is sustained at about 490 degrees Fahrenheit. If we now deactivate the LHG and we leave the load bank turned off, the engine is now unloaded and the exhaust gas temperature rapidly reduces back down to about 338 degrees Fahrenheit. This is indicative of what happens when a diesel generator is operated unloaded. Please note that this portion of the video has been sped up to minimize the viewing time.